Hey guys, welcome back to another video in the series of Python for DevOps. And in today's video, we are going to talk about the prerequisites of this course. So in this video, uh, we'll talk about what we are going to do over here. And we're going to do some installation, Python installation basically. And we'll show you how you can run your program. So this would be kind of a prerequisite video. And after that, we'll take on the regular uh, DevOps programs, uh, pro programs that are asked in a DevOps interview. Let's get started. So first of all, go to your favorite browser and type python.org so this is an official website so you have to go there and look for downloads on your right you'll see python 3.1.0.0 this is the latest version at the time of making of this video just download the file and save it this can take time depending on your internet speed i'll just fast forward it so that you guys can save some time so this you can see that it has been download downloading over here once downloaded, just double click over here and it will ask for the permission to get it installed. I have multiple screens, so it has given me pop up on the other screen. I'll just drag it down. Add Python 3.102 path. This is very important. Just add it because we want to run it from anywhere from the console. Once done, click on install now and wait for some time. It might take some time and I'll just fast forward it so that we can go forward. So you can see that it is getting installed. Yeah, it's done. Once done, just click on close. Everything is done. Now we'll check and verify. So go to your start button and type CMD in order to open the command prompt. So once done, you just have to type. Let me just increase the size so that you guys can see it properly. Go to font and increase the size. I hope you guys can see it properly now. So if you are seeing on mobile, let me increase it more. So I'll choose 28 over here. Perfect. I think you guys can see it on mobile as well now. Perfect. Uh, now you have to type Python space hyphen hyphen version. Hit enter and it will give you the version that we just downloaded and installed in our system, which means the installation is completed. You can create a new folder over here. So uh, this would be your folder and you can just name it like uh, python for devops and we are going to install a few things over here and then we are going to use this folder and we are going to create everything in inside this folder so uh, just stay tuned for that also uh, if I'll, I'll be taking an excerpt from my uh, from my previous video in which i told the installation uh, in and demoed everything so I'll be taking that. So do not get confu confused if the name is not Python for DevOps is the name. If the name is Python for programmers or something else, do not get confused. The basic idea is to make you learn that what exactly is you need to install and what are the tools that we're going to, going to use. So do not get confused about that and right click. Click on new. And create a text document. Now we'll just change the extension and make a first Python file. So just give first.py py is the extension of python file so you just have to give that but just check in the view let me just expand it perfect so what you have to do is just check in the view whether the extension is enabled for you guys or not so let me check over here show file name extension should be on my file name name extension is not on right now and i'll face an error so i'll show you what error can be faced first of all open it in notepad plus plus and let's write some code over here. We'll write a very basic thing because we just want to test. So type print and inside the brackets, give single inverted comma and in there you can write hello comma world. We're just going to print that because we just want to run it. All you have to do is save the program and just minimize this. Once done, you can open a command prompt over here or a windows terminal over here. Once you do, this is a PowerShell Windows Terminal. You can run it over here and there is other option as well. So I don't want to use it right now. Close it. Open command prompt from start button. You can open as an administrator. This is also fine. Now you have to reach over here. So just copy the path where this file is present. Go back to the terminal. Give CD which is change directory and give the path and hit enter. Now type dir over here because we want to check whether the file is there. Now you can see the file name is first.py.txt which means 
my extension is not on and this program won't run because it's a text file not a python file go back to view go back to show and click on file name extension now you can see that it's a text file just remove that .txt from there and .py is the extension it will ask for it click on yes and you can see the ui has been changed which means we are perfectly all right now all you have to do is just type python space and give f i and just hit tab and you'll get the name hit enter and you'll get hello world which means our first program is run so congratulations you have just written your first python program and just executed it this is perfect now there are several other ways to do it click on start button and type i d l e or i d l e this is integrated development environment for python and it comes by default when you install python once done it will open a shell for you you can see it right now it's a shell so whatever you execute it will appear over here so let's open this file go to file and open and look for this file in the desktop we created a folder python for beginners and first dot py when you open it you can see on your right the id is open over here so there is a command print hello comma word just run it click on run run module and you can see hello comma world is printed on my shell which means this is one another way to run it you can use this way or the console way let's type something else and let's try to print it again type the print command so you can see that something is printed over here this is called as call tips so this will give you an idea on what are what is the correct syntax again just run it and then it will automatically save it unless you can just save it and you can see that hi is printed over here perfect then we have run it now just make i just want a peculiar thing about it is the color is green and purple why this is known as syntax highlighting so this id provides a a way so that before doing an error you can just identify the color is not proper properly printed and you you just saw so it is black over here which means that there is some issue with your code and you do not run your program because there is something wrong but if you will try to run it it will show you an error which is this so this is just one way your ide shows you that your program is correct by not highlighting your syntax which is wrong in nature so this is one another way of doing it now go to let me just increase the size so that if you are seeing it in mobile you can see go to options configure ide and there are size now increase the size to let's just say 22 and let's see how big it is okay so this is kind of big right now and and if you want to go back to different size or some other size if you don't like this go again options configure and choose a lower size i'll choose 16 apply and okay perfect and then you can just run your program and see it properly so i hope you have understood this part as well now we are going to talk about the third thing first of all let me tell you how to download notepad plus plus in case you want to write your programs in notepad plus plus just click on downloads go to the latest release there are multiple options over here 32 bit and 64 bit depending on your system download the appropriate one i'll download the 64 bit one installer click on it and then it will start downloading it is just a 4 mb file so it would be pretty fast on your right you can see that it's getting downloaded i'll just fast forward it in order to save some time once done click on that file and start the installation let me show you how it looks like so once the installation started it'll ask you this choose english next i agree this is the path that it's going to be installed next nothing next next and just finish it that's all i've just fast forwarded it so it can take some to one or two minutes in order to get it installed so this is fine so you can use this notepad plus plus in order to make your in order to write your program now we'll talk about another id which is known as visual studio code it's not an id it's just an editor so click on that the first link download visual studio code 
It's available for Mac, Linux and Windows as well. It's really nice. The first option is Windows Deb RPM Mac. Just choose the 64-bit user installer for Windows. This is Windows 11. So just download it. It'll take some time to get downloaded because it's around 76 MB. On your right, you can see. I'll just fast forward it. Done. Perfect. Click on it. And then it will start downloading. Once done, start installing. Except this is the basic path. Do not need to change it. You just need 303 MB of space. Next, in case you want to create a desktop icon, you can do that. Let it be like by default. I'll just check it. Next, install. And it will take another one or two minutes to be installed in your system. After installation, just launch it and it will show you a very nice, beautiful UI and very simple so that you can edit your programs or your code over here. So just close this and let's, there are two things. You can open a file or a folder. So if you write a new file, it will come over here. You can save it later. If you open a file, this will be the file. It will pick only one file, which is this one. But we don't want to do that. We'll pick the whole folder. So open folder. And then choose the folder from Python for Beginners, select folder and the code, everything that's inside will come. Yes, I trust the author. This is one time process. That's all you have to do. And the first dot py is over here. We'll just run it. And on your right down, you can see that it has recognized that there is a Python file and it asks you to install a extension for that. This is perfect. After installing that, it, it'll take some time. I have just fast forwarded it first.py and we'll just run it. Click on terminal and a new terminal. So there are multiple terminals over here. On your right, you can see that it's PowerShell. So just type again the same command. Let me remove this because this code is not correct. Remove it, save, perfect. Now type the same command over here, Python space first.py and hit enter. Will it work? Let's see. So it says Python was not found, run without arguments to install from Microsoft Store or disable the shortcut from setting manage app execution aliases. But is it a partial problem? Let us try the same thing on command prompt. We'll just write again the same thing, Python space first.py hit enter. Again the same issue. Now it is giving you the solution as well. All you have to do is go to your start button and then we have to fix that. Type manage app execution aliases and hit enter. Once it opens for you, go down and look for Python and just switch it off. That's all you have to do. Minimize this and just try to type it. Again, it is showing some error. So what, what went wrong over here? It's not taking the path. Just restart your Visual Studio code and type the same command. But let me check the version first. So let's see what's the version over here. So it has shown me the version. Now type the same command, python space first.py hit enter and it will show you the result. Perfect. Now we have done everything correct. All you need is a restart over here. Now I hope you guys have understood it. We have talked about a lot in this video and we have talked about how we can execute a program through Notepad++ writing, through our IDE which is known as IDLE and through Visual Studio Code. You can use anything. I'll try to use Visual Studio Code because it is really easy to use this. So I hope you have understood everything. If there is anything, feel free to comment below and I'll see you in the next video.